Hey guys, what's up? It's Dedos, and welcome to La Máquina Tour. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about my setup, and why is it this way? I like it low rider. Low, low rider. And, that, and I'm going to show you why. Well, first of all, I'm going to take you through. And these are my Sultan symbols. Signature. Love them. Sound amazing. Look at all these black matte symbols with my signature engraved in laser. So first of all, the kick. This is a 22 Mapex kick with a kick port to enhance the bass. This is my name. This is my symbols. This is my drumsticks. And this is my jewel, my orange jewel on top of them. Amazing piece of art. So I'm going to take you through what is this kit? Saw, chainsaw. So first of all, I'm going to take you through my snare, my custom snare. I spoke to Ismael like seven years ago. He lives in New York. He's a Venezuelan guy like me, but he lives in New York for a long time and he makes these amazing drums this is a 14 by 6.5 snare 12 ply i think it is um maple great sound and it has actually it has some evans genera 2 uh, skin but i'm covering up with some amazing visionary art drum Skins, they're amazing. Look at this one. Visionary. I totally recommend Visionary. Uh, this is Visionary as well. Check him out. I got my symbols right here. Bim bim bim. So I'm gonna show you through it. This is a 13, yeah, 13 hi hat, six inch extreme black signature splash, 16 crash. Noah and Noah 19 right I know 19 13 weird numbers but I love them so I got a 14 4 tone a 16 4 tone 14 snare a 10 tom and a 13 side piccolo which sounds amazing as well sometimes I use it as a timbal and as I have a, a second kick which does amazing sounds on the on the side sometimes you need more deep power so I got over here as you can see my pedals and my lights I got two pedals here one of course is for my <coughs> hi-hat with the clutch my amazing collision 7a drumsticks of course this is a Bluetooth so I can hear some stuff if I'm practicing this is my side kick, double kick, my kick. Oh, I put some visionary protections there, which are amazing. Uh, I have a secondary electronic kick right here from Roland. Amazing. This is another V-drum mesh, which I use for some other sounds, extra sounds. I got my cowbell right here. And, of course, the saw. I got a lot of metal sounds, which I love. They're very high pitch. This used to be a part of a car. Ask me. I don't know. I think it was from a wheel part. Makes amazing sounds. That's why I use it. And what else? What else can I tell you about? Okay, yeah, I'm using triggers. D drum DRT triggers, which has two functions, two triggers in one, so you can use one or the other amazing i drew this one myself this is a visionary drum visionary drum skins visionary drum skins look at that visionary drum they're amazing check them out he can customize your skins as an adhesive or print it on the skin itself my myello drums uh, are fitted with genera evans Genera 2, I think it is, and it's covered by the visionary drums. 
This is an astrological clock. Amazing. I think it's amazing. It looks amazing on the drums. This one is made by our friend Mokshua Hendra. Amazing. So I got my side drumsticks here, of course, collation, collation, lights, a cajon there, and some spares. And now I'm going to show you what's what and why my levels are on this way. Because plenty of people have been asking me why is my, my setup so low. Guys, I feel like I can describe myself as a low rider. And when I mean low, is I try to keep it as low, low, low as I can. I like to keep everything like on the level of the kick or around it. So this is why I put even the cymbals on the kick because I'm not using high tones as it was suggested in the beginning. And I just put it really low because I feel like it's even easier to reach from my perspective. And I've seen Lars Ulrich playing with really, really, really low floor tones. And I was like, you know what? I want to try that. Because I used to have everything like really high and the cymbals really high. But to be honest, I was struggling to, to get there, you know, from, from having the snare here to jumping on the tom over there. It was like, mm. So I tried like a classic Travis Barker. A low, low, low style. And look at this. I feel like it, 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 it's perfect. So everything is kind of like on the same level. The toms on the side, really low. The floor toms, even the snare. Oh, let me see if I can put this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, snare, the kick. I think it sounds pretty cool. This is my kit, guys. I hope you like it, and well, yeah, I hope to see you soon, because this was an amazing tour, and I hope to see you around, and you can understand what I'm playing, and yeah! <laughs>